Hi, I'm Sherry. I'll be reading the part of Gloria tonight. Uh, I got Vaughn here helping me out. Hi. Hello. Uh, I've tried a couple different New York accents, and I think I found one that works. So uh, let's go ahead and do it, shall we? What are you doing with my bag? What? What are you doing with my bag? Me? Yes, you. Why on earth would you ask me that? Because I see you clutching it. Me? So I am. I'm clutching it. There's no money in it. I pay everything by check. There's a, there's a pocket pen, a lipstick, a few little personal things for the night. That's all. You can believe me. But of course I believe you. Well, then put it down. What? Oh, of course. I am still clutching it. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I remember. You left it on the chair, and I just came along, and I was going to sit down. And I thought, hold on, Robert. Don't sit on her bag. So I picked it up, and here I was, clutching it. It's stupid, really. You don't really think I was going through your bag, do you? No, 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 just kidding. Just kidding. Drink? Okay. Scotch? Thanks. So, have you thought about it? About what? What I was saying, about women giving you orders. Oh, yes, yes, I agree. So you've changed your mind. I have? For things to go smoothly, the woman has to give the orders, and Bernard agrees. Oh, well, there we are then. Everything's perfect. And so, if I wanted to make myself at home in my bedroom, I would make myself at home. Yes. Yeah, right. Why wouldn't you? And without waiting for Bernard to get back. No, make yourself at home. What? What's this Lufthansa bag doing here? That bag? Mm -hmm. It's mine. Oh, my God. It's mine. Oh. I use it to keep my little things for the night in it. My... Pajamas, my toothbrush, spare pair of socks, toothpaste, shaving brush, you know. Whose are these? Those are mine. Yours? Yep. Those are mine. <laughs> oh. 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 I see. You're a very interesting kind of guy. And you are all settled in my room, and Bernard did give it to you, so, so I'll let you stay there. Oh, that's not necessary. You know, I'm even going to give you a, a TWA bag to um, put your little things in. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very, very kind of you, Gloria, but mine will do for a while. Yet. There's no way you're having a bag from a German country. Company. Look at ours. There's a little pocket inside with a zipper. It's really handy. That is really handy. What's yours like inside? Oh, mine's got some pockets. This sort of pocket, that sort of pocket, all those sorts of pockets. It's full of pockets. Stuffed with po It is made of pockets. It is a pocket bag. My dear Robert, it would make me very happy if you accept my bag as a gift. Well, if it'll make you happy. Mm, that's right. A man must never refuse a present from a woman like me. Oh, really? Why is that? It's very rare for a woman like me to give presents. But you said no when I wanted to go into my own bedroom. So you're not a baby. You are just altogether different, aren't you? Yes, I am. You know, people wonder why America is such a great country. Yes, people do wonder. Well, people don't realize that most American men stay babies all their lives. As long as that? The Kinsey Report proved it. Did it? The report proved that in America, the woman is usually stronger than the man because he always says yes to her. And so by demanding more every day, she can make the man work his way to total exhaustion. The men don't complain? Oh, they complain. But as soon as he stops saying yes or becomes too exhausted, we're off to Reno. <laughs> Nowadays, women can get a divorce in six weeks for mental cruelty, and that means alimony. What happens if the men don't pay it? Jail. Jail? Mm -hmm. So, to avoid going to jail, they pay up, and to pay up, they gotta work. They have to produce. This ensures a stable economy, and that is why America is such a great country. <laughs> Poor Bernard. Why? You're going to marry him. I can't. Why not? We'd have to live in Paris, and the women here don't have the same setup. No, 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 no. I'll just have to find someone back home. Economics, you see. But, but, but I'll always love Bernard. <laughs> so you'll marry a guy, but not necessarily love him? How could I? How can you love someone who spends his whole life working? It's not impossible. Oh. Oh. Say it again. What? It's not impossible. Why? <laughs> Your lips are just so cute when you say that. Really? Mm-hmm. Truly. Say it again. 
What was it again? It's not possible. It's not impossible. Ah! Uh, oh, your mouth is really a gorgeous shape. Really? Mm, yes. Say it again. Again? Uh, yes. Please. Say it, me. It's not impossible. Ah! Uh, there they go again. It's like a tiny flower opening. Kind of embarrassing. Me. Oh, no, 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 no. Honestly, honestly, have. Say, have you ever kissed a woman from New York? No. No, in Wisconsin, the opportunity never really came up. Oh, that's a, quite a shame. We New Yorkers are like the French, really. Very rational about love. 